Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be working on a TiVo Tarantula 3D printer that, uh, for whatever reason, it's not heating up. Let's get into it. Alright, so here's the TiVo Tarantula 3D printer. And the problem is, the hot end won't get up the temperature for whatever reason. It just displays an error on the screen. So we'll show you that. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll bring the hot end up to the temperature here. I like 3D printing at 210 degrees Celsius. So you can see, there we go. So it's at 23 degrees Celsius right now, and it's gonna heat up to 210. All right, so right around 170 degrees, we start having trouble. So, still warming up, but uh, seems to be having trouble. So, you can see there that it just, it's at 177, then it went down to 176, and then it's not really warming up all that great. So I wrote, now it's at 183. There we go. And you can see it's just staying there. Now, when, now it's going down and down. And you can see the temperature just keeps decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. So, see, and now it says E1, heating failed, printer halted, please reset. So, something is definitely wrong. Let's try to figure out what. All right, so I think you can see our problem here. This is our thermistor, and what happened there is this is just kind of measuring the temperature of the air around this, and as soon as a little bit of a breeze came across this, then it'd make it look like the hot end was cooling down very rapidly, even though it's just measuring the temperature of the air around this. So, that's how we got the air. So I don't know if you can see too well, but there's this hole right here, and that's where the thermistor goes in, right there. So what we'll do is we'll put the thermistor there. This is a bit tricky. You want to make sure your hot end is cold when you're doing this so you don't get burnt. But I don't know if you can see how I did that, but there you go. So we push this thermistor back in here. So you can see I got the thermistor in the hole now. And now what we'll do is we'll put the, one of these wires onto this bolt here. So put your, push this on here. We got the wire in there, and now what we can do is see if we can tighten this to hold the thermostat in here. So you can see we got the one wire clamped here, and that should hold the thermistor in. Actually, it looks a bit loose. We'll tighten that up good. There we go, that's nice and tight. So let's uh, try it again. See if the 3D printer hot end will warm up. All right, so here's the temperature I was having trouble with. And it seems to just be uh, going no problem right now. Let's see if it gets all the way up to 210. And there we go, it's up to full temperature. A little bit over, that's all right. It'll come back down. Perfect. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And if you like this 3D printer based content, I have a few more videos planned on 3D printing. And let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time.